Bria here from Etched Actuarial, and in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to use the VLOOKUP function in Excel. As an aspiring actuary, you are going to need to know how to use Excel really, really well because you're going to be using Excel all the time in your actuarial position. I've said this before, but I probably used Excel 99% of my days at work. So this is something you absolutely must know. And this formula, the VLOOKUP function that I'm going to be showing you today is one that I use quite often in my actuarial work. So it's very important to know. I also have a whole download that you can get of all the Excel functions that are really going to be beneficial for you to know as an aspiring actuary. So right down below in the description, go grab that download. It's a PDF. It will just go through all the really important functions that you need to know. And a lot of the functions that I'm going to be talking about today, which is beyond the VLOOKUP function, you are going to be able to see in that document as well. So go download it. It's right down below in the description. Now I'm going to share my computer screen with you and we are going to go through the VLOOKUP function, some alternatives to the VLOOKUP function. You're going to learn when you need to use a VLOOKUP formula and just a lot of other things. It's going to be hands-on. I'm sure showing you my actual screen. So let's switch over. Okay, let's look at this example where we have a bunch of data about different policyholders. So in column A, we have policyholders name. In column B, we have vehicle type. In column C, we have the state that they live in. In columns D, E, and F, we have the premiums that they paid in year one, two, and three. In columns G, we have the license plate of the vehicle that they are driving. In this situation, let's say that we want to determine the premium that Bria that I paid in year two. So we can easily find this in this chart. $169 is the answer, but sometimes you're going to be dealing with, or quite often you're going to be dealing with tons more data than we have here. So it's not going to be as easy to quickly find an answer like that. And in that type of a situation, you might want to use something like a VLOOKUP formula. So let me show you how it works. First, we'll put equals VLOOKUP. Now it's asking us to input the lookup value. So I'll just put Bria and now I'll put a comma. Next it asks for the table array. So in this situation, we can just give it the table where our data is being held. Next it's asking for the column index number. So this means it's asking us for which column we would like to return the value from. So a VLOOKUP formula, it works by finding the data that you're looking for in one column, usually the column to at the very left-hand side of your page and then it wants to return a value that is to the right in a different column. So in our situation we want it to look up the name Bria in column A and we want it to return the value for the second year premium in column E. So column E is the fifth column in our data so that's what we're going to put here. We're going to put the number five and then we're just going to put false because we don't want it to just give us any data that looks like the name Bria, we want it to be exactly matching the name Bria. Now, when I press enter, you're going to see us, that it gives us the number that we were looking for, 169. So that's how a VLOOKUP formula works. Now let's try this on a different example. So I've created this sample chart for you, and we're going to try to determine how much Tara and Scott paid in total over the past three years. So let's use our VLOOKUP formula to determine how much Tara paid in year one. So VLOOKUP, we're going to enter Tara's name. Now we're going to provide it with the table. And in this situation, we actually, instead of going like that, we can actually just provide it with all the columns that have data in them for our table. So we're just going to reference all those six columns, or sorry, seven columns. And now right up here, we'll finish our formula. We're going to want it to return the value in column four because that is the year one premium. And then we'll just put false and we'll close our bracket and press enter. And now it's given us the number 331. Let's return to our data to make sure that's right. So we're looking up Tara and then we're looking up the first year premium and that is 331. So we are right on track. Now let's do the same thing for these other two columns. Now we want it to look in column five because we're trying to get the second year premium. Press enter and we get 287. Now let's look if that is the value that we wanted to get. So Tara, column 
two year premium, 287. So perfect, it's working well. Now we just have to do this one more time. And now we want it to return the value in the sixth column because we're looking for the third year's premium. Okay, 287, is that right? Yes, that is the value that Tara paid in year three. Okay, now let's do the same thing for Scott. Now equals V lookup. Instead of actually typing out Scott's name, I'm actually just going to reference this cell right here that already says Scott's name in it. So we can do that instead. It will just take the value from here instead of me actually having to type out the name Scott. Now we'll put in our table. And again, we want it to give us the fourth column and we'll put false. 215, is that right? Scott, year one, 215, perfect. And let's look ahead. We're going to expect 215 and 215 for the second and third year premium as well. So I'm going to do equals V lookup. Scott, table. This time I want it to give us column five and false. Okay, we got 215 like we were expecting. And we want column six this time. There, okay, now we've got the premiums that Tara and Scott paid in year one, two, and three. Now, in order to determine how much they paid in total, now we're going to use a sum formula where we go equals sum. And then we're just going to highlight these three values so that we can see how much Tara paid in total over the three years. Okay, she paid $905. And we'll do the same thing for Scott. Something really awesome that you can do is just drag this formula down like this. And it's actually going to automatically know which cells you want to sum up. It's just taking the same cells and dragging it down one row. Okay, so in total, Tara paid 905, Scott paid 645. Now, if we want to determine how much they paid in total, we can just go equals sum, and then we can highlight these two cells. Totals $1,550. So that's how we can effectively use the VLOOKUP formula. The VLOOKUP formula does have some downsides. One thing is that your data always has to be in this type of a format. For example, we were looking up the name in column A and all the data that we needed was to the right. However, sometimes that's not going to be the situation. If we wanted to look up the information for premiums by license plate, we couldn't do that because this column, the license plate column, is all the way to the right of the data that we want to look up. What I mean here is this is the data that we wanted to look up. If we want to look up by a policyholder's name, we can use the VLOOKUP formula because the policyholder's name is to the left of the data. If we wanted to look up the premium information based on the license plate, we couldn't use a VLOOKUP formula because the license plate information is to the right of the data, so it won't work. However, there is a way around this, so let's look into how we can do that. This is called the index match formula. So it works by actually combining two different formulas together. So first let's look at how the match formula works. So if I put equals match, now we're going to, let's say, look up Ross's data in this example. So we will input the lookup value as Ross. And actually, sorry, we're not going to look up Ross. We're going to look up by the license plate number. So we will use 99K32 as the lookup value. And then we'll put a comma. Now the lookup array is the column of data that you want it to find that value in. So I'm going to highlight these cells where it can find that data. And then I'm going to put false here because we want to make sure that it finds an exact match. So when I do that, watch, I'll press 
equals and or enter and it will turn out to be seven that means that in this array of data that we gave them the value that we are looking up is in the seventh row down so one two three four five six seven this is the number that we are looking for or the license plate number that we were looking for now we can combine this with the index function so if we let's say we go equals index now if we want to get Ross's first year premium then we are going to give it the array that we're looking in so we since we want first year premium we're going to give it this data and now we can tell it that we want to wanted to give us the seventh value in that column because that is where Ross's data is it's in the seventh column so if I do that then we're going to get the result of 185 we have determined that Ross's first year premium is 185 so we've used a combination of the match formula to determine what row the data is in that we want and it told us that the data we want is in the seventh row so then we asked it to give us the value in the seventh row from this column using the index value or index function so we actually can combine these together instead of putting a seven right here we can actually just take this formula here can copy it and then I can replace the seven here and enter it here. We'll take this equal sign off. And now we have index and match in one formula. So if I press enter, it's still going to give me the answer that I am looking for. And that's how we use the index match formula. So this can be much more effective, or it is more effective if your data that you are looking for is to the left of the values that you want to look up. It's also really helpful because VLOOKUP formula is much slower than the index match formula when Excel is doing its calculations. So if you're finding that you have a really slow spreadsheet that's not loading very fast, you might choose to change your VLOOKUP formulas to this index match formula. Okay, I hope this video about the VLOOKUP formula and all its associated formulas really helped you learn Excel better. Let me know down in the comments if this video helped you. Let me know if it made sense. And if you followed along, then let me know that too. I'd love to hear that. And if you didn't, I highly recommend watching the video again and following along so that you can actually get some real exposure to these formulas and get some experience using them yourselves. Don't forget to go download that PDF that I talked about at the beginning of the video that gives you all the formulas and functions that you need to know in Excel in order to be a really good actuarial candidate. It's a really, really valuable document and I think you'll really get a lot of value from it. So right down below in the description, I have put a link to that and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.